I tried to record this yesterday. Um, I got the audio all sorted out, which is really the hard part. But when I got back and I checked the camera, um, I had the camera setting, the GoPro settings to uh, a narrow field of view. And then also the angle was along my jawline, which means it, for the most part is pointing at the ground or about 20 feet in front of me. You really couldn't see anything because that narrow field of view. So I've adjusted the camera angle and uh, widened the field of view. So hopefully you can see everything all right. Um, I'm going to the shooting range. My wife is following me in uh, her truck carrying the guns. And uh, I'm gonna meet my father and mother. And we're going to ride out to West Virginia and get breakfast. And then uh, they're going to hop in the vehicle and split off. And they're going to go check, make sure the camera's on. They're gonna go uh, shopping because we're gonna be remodeling our bathroom. Wow, me and my father are gonna go shoot. Um, so, I tried to talk when we're slowing down and it's easier to hear. But once we get on the highway, I'll have to close my helmet so it might get harder to hear. bad and you can still understand what I'm saying. I'm riding a uh, Suzuki Hayabusa a GSX 1300R. Uh, this is a bike that I've wanted for a really long time. So I found a good deal on one back last October. There's a holdover from August and uh, I was able to pick it up in the late fall for $7,000 or so. It had 14,000 miles. It's a 2012 model. And um, I checked it over, and I can tell pretty easily that uh, it hadn't been abused. It looked like you had not you know, dropped it as in laid it down, but you probably tipped it over a couple times. So I had to touch up some scratches in the plastic a little bit. Uh, but they weren't gouges actually in the plastic. They had just scraped off the paint a little bit. Um, but otherwise, the bike was in pretty good condition. So I can tell, probably used it the same way I did, which is a grand touring bike. Um, so the thing about the Hayabusa, there's a few things I want to talk about it because um, I get a lot of questions asking me, you know, is it fast? They're asking me, is it my first bike? Ask me how comfortable is it? Well, start with yes, it's fast. It is stupid fast. It's got so much power, it's unbelievable. Fortunately, it's got a ton of torque, and also fortunately, the power band is super linear. And the end result of that is that it never really scares you. You know, I jumped on this bike for the first time when I bought it and I rode it home about 50 minutes. Never riding a sport bike before. Definitely never have ridden a Hayabusa before. And uh, I cruised through all kinds of stop go traffic, highway speeds, all kinds of riding. And uh, it wasn't bad at all. Um, the nice thing about having this much torque, unlike the leader bikes, is that you can ride it a few gears up and really tame the power. Um, I never use, it's got three power modes and I never use any of them except for the uh, highest power mode um, because YOLO. But for sure if I'm just cruising around, there's definitely times where I'm doing 25 or 35 miles an hour. And there's no reason to uh, use any gear lower than 5th or 6th. So even at 35 miles an hour, I'll be cruising around 6th gear. And even at that high of a gearing and that low of a speed, this bike's got so much torque, you can still just give it gas and it'll still just go faster than you know, all the car, other cars around it without too much, uh, without too much trouble. Um, 
Now, a lot of people have asked, you know, this is my first bike. Uh, I wanted a bike, and you know, they'll tell me that they wanted a bike, and it's iconic. You know, it's a pretty recognizable bike. And they'll want one because they've seen one before, and they like the looks or whatever. And uh, they'll ask, you know, I, I don't have a bike, you know, I want to get a bike. What do you think about a Hayabusa? For, uh, you know, if I were to get a bike, you know, my friend told me I should start on a Hayabusa and this and that. Um, I would not recommend getting a Hayabusa as the first bike. This bike, uh, I've heard the argument that, you know, because it's got so much power and so much torque, it'll scare you and uh, keep you from wanting to do anything stupid. And you know, that might be true for some people, but the other side of the coin is that this power is so intoxicating. You know, I have a story. I went shopping for a car uh, a few years ago before I bought my uh, second bike. And uh, it's a choice between a BMW 135i. You know, it's a, I think a two or three liter turbocharged, 300 horsepower or so. Uh, small coupe uh, convertible is a three as a one, 135i convertible and uh, I love the car and I was pretty dead set on getting it but before I went to go purchase it I test drove a uh, 2013 Mustang GT uh, garbage truck no no, it stinks. Nah. And anyway, the uh, 2013 Mustang GT, you know, 420 horsepower or so, I think, at the time. And uh, I drove it, got on the gas a few times as a stick shift, and then I went and test drove and I, I checked out that 135i for the last time. And I know 135i is a fast car, but after being in that GT Mustang and the push, I was thoroughly unenthused by the prospect of that Beamer. So I didn't buy it. And instead, because at the time, I you know I could afford to buy the Mustang GT, but I really couldn't afford the maintenance and the tires on it, um, given you know, my apartment rent and everything else. So I instead bought my second bike, which was the Suzuki Gladius. <coughs> You know, it was uh, about 75 or close to 80 horsepower and a 450-pound bike. So the same power to weight ratio, even with the rider, as the Mustang GT. And I was so glad I got it. Uh, and the moral of that story is, once you have your hand on that kind of power, it's hard to go back and it's hard not to use it. Um, and it's a similar vein for the Sayabusa, because even though you can ride it a few gears up, um, it's pretty hard not to be a jackass on it. And being a jackass on a bike is one thing. Being a jackass on a bike without having any experience riding a bike or not knowing how to control it or still working out you know, the physics of it, the braking and stuff like that, because you know this bike has no ABS, no traction control, nothing like that. Um, it's pretty, it'd be pretty dangerous for a new rider. Now, when I bought this bike, for sure the woman who was trying to sell it to me um, said that one of the other women who was working at the shop started off on a Hayabusa. So like I said, it's definitely possible, but definitely not something I would recommend. <clears throat> um, and then the other question I usually get is about ergos. Uh, one of the things about this bike that's not, it's a lot different than... That's different than a lot of the other bikes, a lot of the other sport bikes, is that... Um, ergos are super super stretched out now I'm six foot one or so in boots and I've got long arms and for me 
this bike feels, makes you feel like you're pretty stressed out. And uh, when I first got this bike, I hated the position. I mean, I didn't like it at all. I mean, it felt cool, but it felt like you were constantly bowing to the god of speed or something like that. But after a while, you know, it really, it really got a... Uh, started to wear on you and my other two bikes were pretty upright sitting I had a DRZ 400S which is almost completely straight upright and then I had a uh, Suzuki Gladius which is a standard bike and also pretty upright but after riding this bike for a few weeks I started getting used to it and then all these upright bikes started to feel pretty weird and uh, for a while I was pretty convinced I wanted to get a uh, raise the handlebars and lower the pegs, that's a pretty common mod, but after riding it for a while, I decided against that. The Popo is out in full force because it's Memorial Day, uh, so I'm not going to do anything really stupid, for sure. So I'll probably end the talking part of this video pretty quick and then I'll try to recover what audio I can. It's pretty hard to talk when you're riding on the highway because of a high amount of wind noise. The video I shot yesterday was on a slower road and it's definitely a lot easier to uh, make out what I'm saying. Uh, so the last bit about ergos, the bike is super stretched out. Um, and like I said, you get used to it after a while. So I wouldn't be intimidated by that, but just be aware that uh, it's something you're going to have to get used to, even if you're coming from another sport bike. Now I've done four and five hour rides on this bike, and it is many, many times more comfortable than uh, the Suzuki Gladius I had, mostly because of the seat design is much better. You know, even though the ergos are different, the seat design really makes up for uh, the weird ergos. So, that's all I've got to say about it. If you have a chance, uh, definitely test ride one and consider getting one because it's got a tremendous amount of power. Yeah, the other thing that people ask is why did I get a bike that's just stupid fast? Well, so I started off on a DRZ400 and it had enough power, but you know, you couldn't really ride faster than about 45 or 65 miles an hour before I got uncomfortable. Um, just because it's so light, it's like 320 pounds, it's pretty twitchy at speed. So I got a, that Suzuki Gladius, you know, it's a 650cc V-twin, and it had all the power I ever needed for a bike. But uh, my wife started wanting to ride, and that's a tiny, tiny bike for two people. Um, they're a short wheelbase, it's fun in the corners and everything else, but so the passenger on the back uh, just didn't have a whole lot of power and it was just cramped. And she constantly felt like she was going to fall off. So I was going to get a touring bike, I went in my test, I actually uh, rented a uh, BMW 1200 RT. I think it's 120 or 130 horsepower or so, and rode it across Idaho from uh, Wyoming. But even though it had much more power than my Gladius, it felt slow and it felt heavy and it felt like it had no guts. And I didn't want to buy a new bike if I was going to get a bike that had less guts than the bike I already had. So. That's why I started hunting around as a Portaya Hayabusa. I don't use this bike as a, I don't drag stoplight race and I don't take it to the drag strip. I, know that I generally don't do stupid shit on the highway. But in general, I use this bike the same way passionate bike, which is, you know, I, I do day rides and whatever and pour around on it. Uh, and oftentimes with my wife on the back. And for that, it is great because given the bike has a longer wheelbase and it's heavier, I can't hardly tell if she's even there most of the time. I mean, she's not heavy, I mean, she's the... Well, I cut that part out. So anyway, um, that was then. Now she's got a bit, you know, we've got a baby on the way, so she can't ride. But, uh, I think that's all I gotta say.